Hi friends, this is Ravi here and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to understand a new formula in Microsoft Excel application, one of the most used uh, formula for MIS reports and that is the VLOOKUP. In the, in the VLOOKUP, we understand the exact match and also the approximate, uh, approximate match. See, what does VLOOKUP means? It's very simple. Uh, we look up right in the we look up that is we uh, we work with the two parameters actually in the we look up we give the input which is available in vertical order and we expect output which is also available in vertical order it's called as we look up vertical lookup the input is available in vertical order the output also available in vertical order for example if you like to track a marks of 200202 health ticket number student so we need to move we need to track like this we need to find the record of marks and the marks of the student is 265 so it will become very uh, uh, difficult to understand the data to collect the data by tracking individual respect to records right from left side to right side or right even however it may be it could be so it becomes very difficult when we are really working with a huge data so in that cases we look up help you to track a record if you give any input we look up can search from left side to right side and whatever column we are expecting it just shows the uh, other value as an output which is also available in vertical order so what is we look up in the VLOOKUP, we are giving uh, two parameters: the input, which is available, uh, which is which is uh, available in vertical order, and we are expecting an output, which is also available in vertical order. It's called as VLOOKUP. So let us start with the uh, start the formula. And before that, you should understand the rules first. And the lookup value should be unique in the column and ensure that there is no duplicate. And here I'm going to enter the marks as as one double zero one zero one student having four thirty one. Again, I'm going to enter as one double zero one zero two. The 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 marks of the student is four seventy seven. Here one double zero one zero two four seventy seven. And uh, here the one double zero one zero three having the re having the records of four forty seven. And here I'm if I if I make any duplicate again, I'm going to enter as one double zero one zero three. And here, what is the condition? The VLOOKUP value should be in unique in the column and ensure that there is no duplicates of input. And here we have one double zero one zero three, and here also one double zero one zero three. These person marks are four forty seven, and these person marks is four eighty. If there is any duplicates, if you enter one double zero one zero three here, system is displaying the first result as an output. We look up; it is always finding the first input. And again, system is not able to uh, re find a record for these one double zero one zero. So here, it is not possible to look up a value if they are in if they are duplicates. So ensure that there is no duplicates in the data. So now it will be uh, two double zero two zero one correct. And next, and the what is the second rule? The lookup can find values only from left to right. That means our lookup value should be at left, and our our expecting result should be in right side. We can we can find out from left to right, but not right to left, right? For example, if I enter the marks, I cannot get a hall ticket number. So I can, we look up cannot look from right to left, and we look up can look from left to right. That's the condition. And again, uh, it should be here lookup value. It's a spelling mistake. Lookup value should be belongs to the first column of table. Over the value, whatever we are uh, giving as a lookup, that should be available in the table. That should be available in the first column of the table. That should be I repeat again. That should be available in the first uh, first column in the table. That's it, right? So let us start the actual formula first. And here I'm going to enter the sample number as one double zero one double zero one zero one, right? And here we go. We enter the uh, exact formula first. So very simple. E equals to V lookup. E equals to V lookup. E equals to V lookup. So here in uh, now I'm going to look up. Uh, what is my lookup value? My lookup value is a hall ticket number. So simply select the uh, hall ticket number cell string and comma. And what is the table array? What is the table array? What is the table array? The table array is here. Simply select the total table, right? 
and comma what is the column index number in the selected table what outputs we are expecting and and what is the number of column right and we are expecting output uh, outputs as marks right so we are giving input of holding number and we are expecting what we are expecting total marks and these marks is available in the selected table what is this column number of mark that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this column will become the ninth column so enter 9 enter 9 comma is we are expecting the approx approx match or the exact match now as of now exact so zero then close the bracket and press enter so here this time one double zero one zero one it's going to display as 431 and if you want change the uh, lookup value uh, i would like to get the result of two double zero two zero one so uh, here i'm going to enter two double zero two zero one and this person marks is our around how much this is a 340 200201 uh, the marks of this person is so here it is having uh, here the condition is lookup value should be the unique value and this time we have repeated 200201 again 200201 that's the reason it is going to display the first result as 340 so ensure that there is no duplicates i'm going to change this as 200 210 right and if you enter here the number as 200210 it's going to display the exact one that is 480 200210 is the marks having around 480 and this time we have done exact match by giving zero in the formula next we'll just try to work out with the uh, uh, approximate match what is approximate match here we go and here what is the number so 200207 is the right i'm going to enter 200207 this is the uh, exact match right the 200207 is having the marks around 30 uh, 485 so we're going to show 485 but i'm going to uh, find out a 200208 actually 200208 200208 is not available so it is going to display as not available because it is going to find out the input whether it is exactly available or not right and next we try we try to work out here as the approximate match the same formula equals to vlookup equals to vlookup the lookup value is 200208 the 200208 is not available actually here but it is going to show the result now as of now because they are going to match approximately and uh, comma the word the table array from hall ticket to uh, student status comma and the column index number is the same 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 same mark so 9 and comma this time we are going to make approximate match not exact so it means i'm going to type as one then close the bracket uh, yes in the report the 200208 is not available but still the system is displaying the value which belongs to 485 which belongs to 200207 here and here i'll do i'll just for perform one more thing and here you can see that one double zero one zero one two three four is available but here one double zero one zero five is not available correct yes still here I, i'll enter as one double zero one zero five again system is going to display 417 417 is very close to one double zero one zero five one double zero one zero five is not available but it is going to display in the exact match it is not available so it is going to show as uh, not available but in the approximate match it is very it is going to display it is going to display which is which is which is nearest to the input that is 100104 right so this is how it works and we uh, just continue the session and what if what if my input is not in the first range not not in the first column of the table array in that cases see here in this time i have you see while while i entered the formula i have selected from a1 to m11 from where a1 to m11 that means i'm selecting the total range that is uh, a1 to m11 but if i enter the uh, name of the student here i should get the total marks right so in that cases how does it works we'll just see i'm instead of writing here a uh, ticket number i'm going to write as the uh, name of the student 
student name so if i enter the student name here it should display uh, that that respective student marks again ensure we should we should satisfy these rules again so here i'm going to write some sample name as rakul r a k u l rakul and uh, here we we'll just try the formula once again e equals to v lookup e equals to v lookup open bracket uh, lookup value is rakul comma now this time the table array when we are working with the hall ticket number we have selected the data from here because the hall ticket number should be the first column of that table but this time we are going to find we are going to find the uh, marks based on name of the student so we should select the data only from the name of the student because the if, if we select like this the name of the student column will become the first column of the table that's it comma column index number now in this in this selected table what is our column number one two three four five six seven eight before it was nine now it became eight so the column index number is eight comma are you expecting the exact match of rakul or the approx match of rakul that is what is right so we have we, we we need a zero uh, that means we need to match exactly so then press enter so the rakul marks is 340 rakul marks is uh, 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 340 and again if i enter rana if i change the uh, rana the rana marks is 245 uh, here the 245 where is rana rana here it's not sorry it, it's a 265 here it is and if you change to ram ram and yes ram have the marks of 480 right and uh, uh, now we just uh, we just try to work out with the uh, ramesh uh, now here the, the 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 ramesh name is not available so here if you, if you type ramesh it is going to show as not available because it is an exact match and here i will do e equals to v lookup e equals to v lookup the lookup value is ramesh but the ramesh is not available in the list comma but we'll just see how uh, what happens uh, this time the table array again select from student name to till end comma column index number is however 8 and this time 1 it means the approximate match then press enter goes to m so that's the reason it is going to display the uh, result that belongs to rakul so it's a very simple zero stands for the exact match and one stands for approximate match that's it thank you